What's up guys, it's Moe's, and today I want to make a video just talking about my one week progress using the box. Uh, to start, I'm just going to be going through the controls of the box, um, just doing a very brief explanation of what all the buttons do. If you want to know more, go onto the box's website. Uh, Hacks has made an excellent resource guide explaining how each of these buttons work um, in very, very thorough um, depth, um, way better than I could ever do, and it also is from the man himself, so no missed information. Uh, so to start on your left hand is your left trigger. Um, there we go. Uh, so your left trigger is all the way over here. And then you have uh, left, sorry. <laughs> so you have left, down, and right. Uh, that's on your left hand. And then down here at the bottom, you have mod X and mod Y. Uh, what these do is they modify your X axis and your Y axis. Um, to know more specifically about what that does, I would check out the box's website. Um, and how, in what situation and what button com uh, combinations it affects what and how drastically. Um, but in short, the first way that I started using mod X and mod Y is if you press shield, you go mod X, it does medium light shield. And then if you press shield and then you press Y, it does full light shield. Um, you can use that in whatever way, whatever situation you want. Now starting over here with the right hand all the way to the far right, um, is your jump button. Uh, this is actually up, um, just like on a GameCube controller, if you just press up on the analog stick, um, you can short hop or you can full hop, um, but that distinction is necessary uh, that this is up um, because it's how you do other things such as like up tilt um, and it's how you would do things such as um, like high, angled F tilt. Um, so instead of a jump button like X or Y, uh, it's also a cardinal value and you can do things like that. So then next to your jump is Z. Um, Z on the box website is the recommended button to do things um, like teching. Uh, and in some instances, it's also the button that you would press to do an aerial. Um, there's no real reason to use Z for your aerial because you have A right here, um, but if you'd like, it's right there. It's a bit easier in some situations. Uh, so next to Z is X. Uh, this is your other jump button. If you're more comfortable just using your middle finger than your pinky for jumping um, is kind of all I've really found the difference for. Um, yeah, and then next to X is B. Um, just like your B button on a GameCube controller. And then up top here, this is Y, so X and Y are right on top of one another. And then next to Y is R, your other analog trigger. Um, now with R, it does some different things with the way that shield works. As you can tell, you don't actually roll with R. Um, you only can roll with L. Um, and that's just because R serves a different function. Um, and since with R, you can do way more shield tilting than you can with L, because with L, you roll. Um, so that is a big function of R is that you're able to shield tilt and things like that. Um, now going down here, um, on my right hand still is all of the C sticks. So C stick right, C stick up, C stick left, C stick down, and then A. Um, so these are also the buttons that you use for aerials, um, because, uh, it's way easier than pressing, um, jump right A. Um, that's just pretty difficult and clumsy. Um, so use your C-Stick. Uh, this also works for the GameCube controller, as most of you know, so nothing wrong there. Now, some of the things that I found difficult in the very beginning of um, using a box, one was just not being able to be as fluid with a GameCube controller. Um, obviously that just comes with time and using a brand new controller that is completely different than a normal controller using before. Um, come a lot of obstacles, uh, but truly the first one was the mental obstacle of not being able to control my character the way that I wanted to and the way that I had previously. Um, <clears throat> that was just a personal thing, um, but that definitely bothered me and it made me very frustrated seeing Captain Falcon fumble around the screen instead of uh, dash dancing and zipping around the way he had before. Um, now, in actual terms of gameplay, things that I found difficult 
were teching, shielding, remembering the placement of the C sticks, and L canceling. I'm going to go into those more specifically because now they feel a bit more natural. Um, but teching to start felt difficult um, for the same reason that shielding felt difficult. Um, you use your left pinky to tech and to shield in most situations. Um, R is sort of reserved for wave dashing, um, shield tilting in these sort of scenarios. Um, L is sort of the, uh, the shield that you use in the beginning when learning the box, um, just because it's right there. Uh, so if you want to shield stop, it's right there. Um, for tech rolling, obviously your directions are right there. So it's really simple and easy. Um, for shield dropping, you press left uh, shield and left and down. Um, so you use left a lot. Now, the reason it was very difficult to be doing those things is because you use your pinky, obviously. Um, and you don't use your pinky a lot. It's a very weak finger. And if you're dash dancing, what will happen is your pinky just gets lifted up like this. And sometimes your middle finger will too, because these fingers are so weak. Um, so that when you're dash dancing like this on your box, uh, these two fingers sort of elevate because they're so weak. Um, eventually you get used to that. And if you just train yourself and force yourself to keep all your fingers down flat while using one or two of them, um, your pinky becomes strong enough to be able to always be there and press the button when you want to. Um, <clears throat> as for the placements part, um, it was just very difficult because your hand, uh, as it sits on the right side, um, with A being the middle and always wanting to fall back here. Um, for me, naturally going left, I would hit down. Um, this just sort of felt like the first thing to my left. Uh, looking down at the controller and looking at the input viewer, um, you can kind of see that that's sort of true, sort of not true. Um, it really just depends on who you are and how your hands land and how your fingers move. Um, but that was just something that was really difficult for me was uh, remembering that sort of like diagonal left, uh, up left is really where left is and not just straight left. Um, so that was just my hands being odd. Um, but also another one that was really difficult was up. Uh, it always felt like I was accidentally pressing B. Um, like my hand had gone too up too much to get there. Um, and that was just me way overcompensating for where I thought up was. Um, so after just spending a lot of time doing this right here, um, I finally became comfortable with where up was. And then the last thing is L canceling. The reason the L canceling was so difficult was because I wanted to use the same buttons I used on a GameCube controller on my box. So with a GameCube controller, I L canceled with L. Um, and in my brain, I could and needed to do the same thing on the box. Um, so I would try and aerial and then L cancel with my left pinky. Now it's doable. Um, and I'm sure maybe some box users do use L or R um, to L cancel, but it is 100% easier and recommended on the box guide to just use Z. Now, Using Z is no different than using either of the uh, triggers. Um, it was truly just a thing of, I don't want to. Uh, and so I had to get used to the idea of using Z and not just using Z as a way to grab. Um, but then what I started noticing happen was that I would preemptively L cancel. And this happens too on a game controller when you're first learning how to play. Um, is you just get so excited and you know the buttons you need to press that you forget the order or you uh, forget to jump and then you end up doing like a smash attack grab. Um, and I'm sure this has happened to anyone new on a GameCube controller as well. Um, but it's just sort of that classic getting too excited, pressing too many buttons at once and then ending up pressing the wrong button. Um, so that's just something to keep in mind is that um, L canceling with Z is a really good thing. But when you start getting into that unga bunga mindset of um, just pressing buttons as you want, um, you're going to end up grabbing a lot accidentally. Um, and that's spoken from true experience, not just from uh, some sort of outsider's perspective. Um, now for things that I still find difficult after a week. Um, wave dashing is extremely difficult for me. Um, I've had a lot of friends who are, who are box users say that 
it's not that hard um, and that they got it pretty fast. Uh, for me, I just have not been able to. Um, the recommended way to do it is with Y and R. Um, and for me, I just haven't really been using Y and R for anything. Um, these buttons are just kind of like, like my, my fingers don't fall on them very naturally when they're up here on these top four. Um, and so I don't find myself using them ever. And so reaching for them to wave dash hasn't felt natural just yet. Um, and so far it's been okay not wave dashing because Captain Falcon has a really good dash dance. Um, but it has been frustrating not to be able to do, um, wave lands and things like that, that I, that I know I can do. Um, like I can get, I can get some wave lands if I really am thinking, um, but being able to like wave land and wave dash and especially with hack stashing, obviously you need to, to be able to do this. Um, as you can see, I can't even really hack stash. Okay. That was terrible. Uh, but that's besides the point. Wave dashing is just extremely difficult for me still. And something I am working on. Um, but yeah, that's still something that escapes me. And, uh, another thing that I am finding difficult, but not impossible. Like I am wave dashing is out of shield options. Um, and what it is, is that, so let's just say, for example, I get knocked down and I want to tech roll left. Um, what will happen is I will end up holding left as you can see I'm doing now. Um, and it stops me from being able to jump out with up because up does shield tilt. And since I'm holding two cardinal directions, it wants to shield tilt that direction. Um, or um, since I'm holding a cardinal direction, it's shield, it's like also shield tilting. Um, and so it will just shield tilt up like that. Now, the way to stop this is very, very obvious, right? Uh, I tech roll and then I let go of left and I press up and now I can jump out of shield. Um, but it's just something that I am constantly forgetting to do because if I just already have that finger down, I don't pick it up for some reason. Uh, it's just something that I've been finding difficult and I wanted to point that out because someone else might might also be making the same mistake and be wondering, why can't I jump out? Uh, now you can jump out with C-Stick um, because it's not the same thing as uh, analog up, um, but that's just a, a workaround that I have not yet um, started implementing. And I'm sure the much more easy implementation is to just let go of left after I have rolled uh, because then you can just jump immediately after and it works fine. <laughs> Um, so those are the things I have found difficult, but got over the things I still find extremely difficult and just the kind of stupid things that I'm still working on. Um, another thing is, and this could just be for me, but this will be the last note is that I have found myself doing a lot more B moves, um, just because of how, how easy it feels and how, um, right there it seems to be i'm not sure what it is it could just be a new fascination with b moves but uh they're just right there and they're so easy to do out of dash uh that i've just been doing a lot of b moves recently um so yeah any nun fans out there i'm sorry that i'm using so many b moves but i just can't help myself right now so that's my one week update of my progress on the box if you would like to hear more about how my progress is going or if you have any questions uh, just leave a like or a comment down below and I'll be sure to get back to you as quick as possible. Uh, I hope you enjoy this video and have a good rest of your day. Peace everyone.